A couple of Amber supporters have been spreading malicious rumors about Johnny after the trial, and they even doxed his two supporters, the real Laura B and the Umbrella Guy, with them recently spreading the false narrative that celebrities are unliking Johnny's posts on social media. Johnny's fans have realized that they have the support of the Aclu and they are boycotting the ACLU. A tweet has been going round exposing the ACLU and also summoning a boycott against them saying, Boycott ACLU and Shane Communications for orchestrating a smear campaign against Johnny after he just won his defamation case. Thought we weren't going to find out? Chrysanta White is behind the Camilla page that works for Amber Heard PR firm. It just so happens that the Amber Heard supporters that have been causing havoc and disrespecting Johnny and his supporters on social media have the ACLU on their bio and so they either work with the ACLU or are supported by the ACLU. Now boycotting them has trended on social media with fans claiming to no longer support ACLU. ACLU being an organization that survives on donation. This must have been a great blow on them. The Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard defamation lawsuit hasn't just tarnished the actor's reputation with allegations, but has also brought the American Civil Liberties Union into the picture. It has been claimed that there is a bizarre involvement of the union. As for the reports by Insider, the testimony and email records produced at the trial demonstrated that the first draft of the Washington Post op-ed was ghostwritten by the staffers at a CLU. It was made in the ordinary course of the ACLU's business, true? True. Also, the guy who worked for the ACLU who was a witness during the trial said that they supported Amber to write the op-ed, and that they told Amber to write about her personal experience of abuse. He also confirmed that the post was to be released a day after the release of Aquaman. Ms. Heard said in words or substance that she wanted the op-ed to come out soon after Aquaman, correct? I believe that's correct. This means the ACLU was aware that Amber was trying to get her movie popular by using Johnny but they still supported her into writing the op-ed and destroying a man's life. The ACLU really does deserve a front row seat in terms of blame. You know, they played a critical role, said legal scholar Jonathan Turley, an attorney and professor at George Washington University Law School. In an interview with Fox News host Sean Hannity, the ACLU had denied the allegation against them following the defamation trial coming into being by putting up a statement on May 18th on their official website confirming that they did not write the op-ed piece. It mentioned, during the current defamation lawsuit between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, some have claimed that the ACLU made Ms. Heard an ambassador for gender justice and wrote an op-ed on her behalf in exchange for her pledge to donate money to the ACLU. This is wrong. We do not write op-eds or offer ambassadorships in exchange for donations. Period. Becoming an ACLU artist ambassador is entirely voluntary. It is a favor to the ACLU, not vice versa. Regardless of their denial, their recent involvement with Amber's supporters to bring down Johnny has made them suffer greatly from this society. A fan tweeted, Some of you are wondering why the media is going hard on trying to pull Johnny Depp down. Well, Johnny actually did a lot of damage to them. I mean, what do you expect? These people make their money selling lies to the masses and Johnny's case exposes all of that. Though Amber's supporters have tried deleting their tweets and even their accounts, the damage has already been done and there's no changing that. A fan tweeted, Funny thing is, Chrysanta White Aka Camilla won't just disappear that quickly in real life like she did on Twitter. Repercussions will commence accordingly I can assure all, and it won't be remotely like the BS bogus cease and desist threatening letter from David Shane Law. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.